this is a project that's been running for the last four years and we've had the University of Central Lancashire students working on this project as part of their undergraduate degree. preserved early Neolithic monument. It's surviving as you can see more or less to head height so back in the Neolithic it would have only been a little bit higher than it's actually surviving today. It's remarkably well preserved and you can see that this has all of the classic elements of an early Neolithic stalled cairn. So you can see these large upright orthostats which divide the chamber into different compartments or cells and these are very, very well preserved, particularly in this cell and the next cell along. And in between, to create the walls, we've got this fantastic and beautiful uh, dry stone walling uh, that creates the edge of the particular monument. And then we're imagining that what will happen is that there's just a few courses missing here that would slowly come together and then the top would be covered with large lintels. And when we began excavating this site, we actually removed those lintels, um, which would have covered the chamber area. So this is an absolutely remarkably well-preserved chambered tomb with the deposits uh, intact uh, within it. So what's the best thing about this excavation? Um, I'd probably say getting the chance to dig on like a monument like this. It's definitely a, very interesting. And just being able to see the, the differences between the Neolithic and the Bronze Age cairn and how they all sort of moulded together really. And what have you learnt on excavation? Hmm, um, definitely um, <clears throat> uh, being able to see better uh, the context and the layers and being able to pinpoint which is which and which comes first as well in the order. And have you learned any skills other than archaeological skills? Um, yeah, I mean I've been taking some tours around so my communication with people and talking about what we're doing has definitely improved. And have you had a good time? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> so Aidan, what's the best thing about this excavation? The best thing is honestly just the uh, practical aspect of it, getting in to the ground and digging up all these exciting uh, treasures and just cleaning and telling the story of this uh, Neolithic cairn. And what have you learnt while you've been on excavation? Well we've learnt a lot about uh, the building structures uh, and construction methods of the uh, Neolithic and how they changed into the Bronze Age. Seeing the two overlapping and how uh, they've interacted with one another, it's been really interesting and riveting to watch unfold. And have you learnt anything other than archaeology? Have you learnt any other skills while you've been here? Well, I've learnt a lot about the island itself here on Sandy, about um, erosion, about sort of farming around here, and just taking in the beautiful scenery. So what are you doing there, Tish? I am dry sieving the samples coming out of the passage. And what are you looking for? I'm looking for little bits of pot and flint in stone tools that and you can't hand collect. So, Sarah, what's the best thing that you've done on this excavation? Uh, I think excavating in the chamber where I am now is the best thing about the situation because you get to be so close to the heart of uh, the learning here. Okay, and what have you learnt on this excavation? Um, I've learnt to improve my skills as an archaeologist, my prowling skills, my excavation skills, which are the things you don't get to do so much in the classwork. And have you learned anything other than archaeological skills? Any other skills while you've been out here? I think I've learned how to work with a team more. Being on this island in an isolated space means you have to work well as a team with the people that you're put with. Okay, Aidan, so what's your favourite find been on the excavation? Uh, well, so far there's a small suspected polished stone ball that was found back there by me, actually, uh, made of banded flint. It looks like it's been a. Uh, exposed to heat and fire and cracked, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, smooth, it's round, it's, it's a polished ball. Uh, and you're the first person to pick that up since the, since people dropped it in the Neolithic. What's that like? So, well, it's definitely exciting and really connects you to the people back then. 
you, because they're the same as us, when I hold it in my hand and I feel it, the texture of it, someone back then will have been thinking of doing the exact same thing.